Everybody, it's 444RR four, with the next video on the 365-day magic challenge. Before we get the trick started today here at Bob's Magic Emporium, we need to have a playing card selected. So I'm going to go ahead and give these cards a quick little shuffle. And we'll go something like that. All right, and I'll shuffle them one more time here because that was a terrible shuffle I just did. All right, let's see. One more time here. There we go. Okay, so you can tell me stop whatever you want. Stop. All right, we'll, we'll go right there. And this is going to be your card. I won't look at it. And I'll place it down right over here. And we'll look at that card in a second. But first, I'm going to try to read your mind and show you how mentalists can read your mind. I have my Mentalism 101 packet here. So before we get to your card, I want you to first think of any celebrity in the world. Think of one. Uh, name it out loud. Yeah, name it out loud. Justin Timberlake. Okay, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake, ladies and gentlemen, has a baby. No, not very good. Okay. Because I know what you're saying, why it's not very good. What if I would have chosen, uh, like, uh, Will Smith? Well, I would have had Will Smith covered, too. You would have said Jackie Chan? I got Jackie Chan covered, too. How about Michael Jackson? Oh, uh, that's all right, too. I got him covered. All right, that might that was a that was a bad one. That was a bad one. Um, but you did say uh, Justin Timberlake, and I have Justin Timberlake's name written in Sanskrit, kind of an ancient uh, old writing. No, not very good. Okay. Well, how would you like to see your name written on this card? Now that'd be impressive. I don't know who's watching this video right now. Would you like to see your name? Your name? Ha! Ah, because it says you. Okay. Okay, uh, now, uh, think of any item in a grocery store. Bananas? All right, well, there's 69 cents right here. Just scan that, there's 69 cents. Do um, you know what's on the back of this card? No? Hey, you got it right. Or, that's on. That's no. No, or on. Um, okay, okay, no more goofing around now. Uh, I have your card right on here. I'm going to show you the card again in case you forgot. I won't look. There we go. And this is your card. Is that it? All right, all right. Well, that's all 52, so uh, that's cheating here. I got one more card inside of here. Your card in a snowstorm. Okay. How about uh, your card in a blizzard? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what your card really was. Jack of hearts. The jack of hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the snow is starting to melt, and it's showing the jack of hearts, and that is mentalism 101. All right. So, this is a cool little trick, and uh, let me grab the other two cards. Okay. So, this is a little trick where you get a bunch of these uh, mentalism gags. You get the baby gag. You get a your name gag. You get a uh, Sanskrit writing gag. You get uh, a barcode gag. No. The playing card. The final revelation. You also get two I didn't put in the uh, performance because... I just didn't want to, because uh, it, it gets repetitive after a while. You get a, 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 glo a, a map, so you could say, think of any country, or think of any place on a map. Disney World, all right, that's right about there. And, you know, you point to a random spot. And then you have, tell me your birthday. There it is, and then whatever it is, like August 11th. Oh, there, look, August 11th, right there. And, you know, so this is a cool little thing, though. It's, I wouldn't recommend this for the serious mentalist. Like, if you're an actual, that's what you do in your magic is mentalism. I wouldn't recommend this because, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's more a comedic thing. Mentalists want to be serious, suit and tie, you know, up there, I'm going to read your mind, you know, focus kind of thing. Not bringing out these little baby gags and all these little gags in their show. This is for somebody who, you know, maybe is more of a comedic magician who says, um, you know, my, my, my style is more comedy, but I'd like to maybe get into mentalism. So I had this little uh, packet here to teach me mentalism, and then you could play it up that way. So I wouldn't recommend this for anybody but like a comedy magician, somebody who tries to be funny, uh, because you got like the baby gag and all that kind of stuff. So that's the um, Mentalism 101. Great little thing for a comedic magician, but 
I would skip it if you're an actual mentalism, a mentalist. So that's the trick. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.